Thank you, man. Thank God. Thank God. I'm blessed, bro. Blessed all the way up. That's a nice way to bounce back from a couple losses in a row, yeah? Yeah, man. Hey, look. I had to, man. Uh, this whole camp, this whole year, I've been thinking, like, man, I've been underperforming in my contract. I got to get back with it. You know what I mean? Scott Coker them got me here. They ain't got me here to be, you know, losing. And, uh, you know, going out in the first round and stuff like that, man, I, I had to make sure I put a big stamp or at least go out die trying, man. Talk to me about um, the game plan coming in. You had to assume what his game plan was going to be. Yeah. Uh, he, he didn't land a single takedown on you, did he? Yeah, no, no, no. In fact, I got me a takedown. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I like our game plan the whole time, you know, uh, me, Coach Greg Jones, Saeed, we all been working, like keeping the center of the cage, making sure that, you know, we keep hard down on that wizard, keeping those on the hooks. Not being afraid of the wrestling, not waiting on the wrestling, you know what I mean? Getting my hands loose. Took me a little minute to get my hands loose in the first. I think I respected his power a little bit too much and waited on the wrestling a little bit too much. But once that second round came along, I started feeling good. Third round came along. My coach, Sean, Sean Soriano, just let me know. He was like, look, stay sharp. We got five more minutes. And that's all I was thinking about. We just got five more minutes and I can do this. Could you have imagined a scenario in training camp in which you – stuff like a dozen or whatever that my, was of, of his takedowns yeah yeah my coach saeed we i mean even on thanksgiving you know what i mean instead of me eating i was inside there you know stuffing takedowns and you know what i mean nikita was inside there taking me down my guy he was you know i, I was just getting hit with all types of uh wrestlers my shamil that mine you know he's supposed to fight here tonight so he was there training with me as well we i, I knew that i was gonna stuff some takedowns but I didn't think that I was going to stuff all of them, man. But my, my coaches, they believed in me, and they let me know. They said, he's going to shoot 10 times, we're going to stuff yeah. 11 of them or something like that. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, you have to picture a scenario where you're on your back once against a guy like him, right? At, if that's at what least once, man. At least yeah. once. We've been working on framing. We've been working on back take. Gilbert Burns been working with me on my back take. Muhammad been working with me on my back take. Man, bro, we, everybody been helping me, man. Everybody been trying to get me ready for anything that could come with this, man. It's pretty much a perfect fight for you. Yeah, no, yeah. No takedowns allowed. You outstruck him by a huge margin yeah. from what it looked like. I got a takedown too, right? Did that count as a takedown? I didn't see the actual stats. but Yeah, but yeah I was on top. Did that count as a takedown. <laughs> so so, so That's talk, two. talk to me then about what comes next for you because, like I said, coming off two losses – Maybe you're not a guy that's right at the forefront of everybody's conversation, but you beat a guy like that who they have a lot of confidence in, they're, they're bringing along. Yeah. Now you might be able to start calling your shots a little bit. Yeah, man, you know, me personally, bro, I want to uh, I want to get in there with Oliver in count. You know what I mean? It's like, that's somebody who I've been watching for a long time, and I feel like that'll be a good fight. You know what I mean? Uh, Jill over here. Uh, I think about you rise up the rankings when you were coming up. I mean, you won the LFA title. That says a lot. You beat a good guy like Vinicius de Jesus. You know, like this lot of buzz. And then you kind of stumbled a little bit. Uh, MMA is such a mental game. How was it that you could have, like, probably your best performance so far in Bellator after two losses? Like, what did you do to keep that, you know, the confidence in yourself? Mine, uh, you know, uh, straight up, I lost the Cadillac. I lost an Infinity. All the Memphis, you know what I mean? They was doing their thing. They took all my shit. Uh, <laughs> mine, I lost, uh, lost a lot, bro. It was, like, it was a tough year. And then I took two L's, lost two girlfriends. You know what I mean? So I was just taking L's and I was like, shit, I got to get back with it for real. <laughs> you, you said it's a tough year. Obviously, yeah. turn of the, you know, New Year's a couple days away or, you know, a couple yep, weeks yep. away. Uh, tell us, you know, what are you expecting for yourself in 2023? Mine, I'm expecting, you know, Expecting more hard training, man. Like, I want to get back to, I want to rest up, see my babies, get back to work, you know what I mean? Get back to my coaches, like, get back to access and everything. And I, I believe, like, what y'all was saying tonight was just the beginning, you know what I mean? It's like, at first, I've been kind of, you know, content with uh with what I've been doing. But I, I had to be humble quite a bit, and that's what happened to me over this year, you know what I mean? And now, I think I'm one of the best teams in the world, got some of the best coaches in the world, you know what I mean? It's like, I uh, got law school. Got my fucking, you know, kill Cliff FC behind me, bro. It's like, I can't be stopped. Last question for me. Uh, you just said you have one of the best teams, but that performance shows that you're one of the best fighters in the world. That Jaleel shows up bruh. to beat a lot of people. So what's your, what's your message to the rest of the division? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Real is here. The real is here. I might stumble a little bit, but the real is here, man. 
Y'all better know it, bro. I ain't bullshitting. The real is here, man. So, Jaleel, I'm just curious. Uh, with his clinch, was it stronger than you expected? Weaker than it, you expected? Mine, uh, it was a little bit more fatigue than what I expected. You know what I mean? It was strong. Like, uh, usually I could get my inside trips, you know what I mean? Kind of clamp down on stuff. But, uh, I, like, I even let him know. Like, in the first round, I said, God damn, you strong as fuck, G. You know? <laughs> it's like, but it was strong, man. It was just, uh, just, uh, more fatigue. I could feel the fatigue inside him. And, um, you know what I mean? I knew I just was hearing my coach, Sean, just kept telling me to outwork him right there. Outwork him, outwork him. You know what I mean? And that's, that's all I was trying to do. Do you think your six and a half inch reach had something to do with it? Yeah, man. And to be honest, I should have used it a little bit more. You know what I mean? It's like I was just sitting back, like uh, I was catching them with stuff. And it was like, I was like, damn, you know, I can't believe it. Can't believe it works. So I got a little bit more to do as far as like chaining combinations together. Cause I feel like I was just throwing one and two punches. But uh, I feel like if I would have changed some stuff together, I could have got uh, a lot of stuff going on. And like uh, my homie Nikita, he was letting me know. It's like, I was popping them up and I could have got that body shot, you know what I mean? I, you know, so I feel like I could have did more right there. But, you know, that's all back to the drawing board. I'd much rather be going back to the drawing board with a W than an L, though. Now, yes, it's a win. It's a good win. But it's been a while since you've had a finish. Are you, are you, are you starting to get a little antsy to get a finish? Mine, uh, mine I got two checks regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All yeah, right. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Julio. Sir, appreciate it.